and it's basically due to pop and say Clayton we ain't going nowhere anymore. Hey everybody welcome back to the channel this is Supra V World and this is my Mark IV Supra build thread. We've got an interruption video today because I've blown the damn diff. The open wheeler diff, yep, open wheeler, has blown itself apart. It's clunking like anything. I'm lucky to get it back here and lucky to get it up onto the ramps and onto my stools here. But we're going to swap it out today for an A01B diff. We're going to pull the back off the diff. We're going to make sure everything's nice and tidy in there. Of course, this is an LSD. Change out the oil, bang it in, and see if it takes care of that nasty vibration that I've been chasing for so long in this damn car. I just want the thing to run nice and smooth and sound like a perfectly balanced inline six that it should be. Let's get to work. We'll have some fun today, some motivation to try and get rid of that vibration. Let's go! So here we are under the car. This should be a pretty straightforward job. Uh, famous last words. Anyways, to get this thing out, we need to undo these ones here. This is the rear of the drive shaft flange. Then we take off the axles. So the axles here on one side, then the axles over here on the other side, and then we take off the diff itself. So one bolt here, one bolt over here, and then the rear. One there and two slightly smaller ones over here. Okay, so I found a bit of a problem. This car, the hundreds of times I've been underneath this car, I have never noticed that there is a complete missing mount on the back of the diff. Pretty much the biggest solid mounting point of the whole diff is not even there. I'll just clean this lens. This circle, there's the bolt hole there. That's supposed to have a massive big Allen washer and uh, Allen bolt in there. I've got solid bushings in the Sora that bolt onto there. There is nothing there. I don't know what the hell's happened to it. So here I am trying to dig up some rear differential mounts. I, I should be replacing the whole lot, the fronts and the rears, but uh, instead I think I'm gonna make one because I want the diff back in today. You can see here, this is all you need is solid mounts like this. This will stop a lot of axle tramp, a diff tramp, that sort of thing. Um, I can easily just cut that out with a hole saw. It's just basically a piece of mild steel. Then you weld it to the subframe and that's it, job done. So I've just cleaned it sort of with a wire brush and now I'm going to take a measurement with a vernier. That's pretty much it right there. It doesn't have to be 100% because it'll be, be welded in, but we've got an 89 mil. Okay, this is all I can dig up for a hole saw. This thing is made for wood and maybe aluminium. It'll get through aluminium and it's 6 mil thick plate mild steel. That's an 88 mil hole saw. I don't know if this is going to work, but if I get through this and I manage to chop this piece out, it will work. So this will save me waiting for tomorrow to put this in and it'll also save me 220 Australian bucks so let's see if this works dodgy hole saw take one So anyway, I think that's a fail on the hole saw attempt there. That's about as much as we got. I've nearly finished this, so I've cut the whole thing out with the band saw. There's just, as you saw, multiple cuts there, but they're all completely dead straight. So I'm just going to clean them up with a little flapper disc and then I'll see if it fits. That saved me 220 bucks and waiting a day. Stoked. So annoyingly, I've got to go to the shop to get one bolt. It's for the rear diff. Can't do without it. And we'll get some silicon as well to seal the uh, back of the diff back on. I wish the Supra drove like this. Yeah, this car's got a frickin' noisy diff. But it's instant. Everything, you just touch the throttle and you're away. Everything about this car is instant. Well, I'm 
on day two of changing this diff and the reason being is that this is stuck on so the axle stub is stuck to the diff I've sprayed CRC or WD-40 onto it and left it overnight so that should have hopefully loosened it up a little bit the rest of the diff is all ready to go all right I got the diff out check this out listen this thing is minced obviously I have no need to really pull it back off this thing I could just hoof it into the bin but it wouldn't be a diff video without seeing the damage right All right, take a look at this. I'm surprised this thing was still driving. Every single gear is just chewed to bits. Here we go. So if we have a look inside each diff, you can see there's a lot more going on inside the LSD. So there's an AI-1B. Compared to in So I've used wax and grease remover to wipe around the outside and also of the case. So we're going to silicon that and put it on in a minute, but we might as well put the oil in now as well. Because the diff's out of the car, it's going to be much easier for us. They take one and a half litres. I think it's two litres if you've got the oil cooler and a six-speed Supra, the BO3B thing, but this is the AO1B. So 1.5 litres. We've got a little scale on there. This is two and a half litres in here, so I'm just going to tip this in, chuck it on the ground, see when it gets to one litre, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. It's just Penrite 80 watt 90 um, premium mineral gear oil. Oh, smells like crap. Okay, let's put the silicon onto this thing. High temp. So I've got the diff back in, but I'm afraid I have to report that it has not fixed the noise in the engine. It's not a vibration in the engine, it's something like it's just not running smooth. I'm really starting to think harmonic balancer or an injector. So I'll do those two things next and we'll see if that fixes anything at all. But I'm a little disappointed I suppose, but at the same time I shouldn't be because the diff had to be done I mean I had a I had a shitty diff in it so happy happy joy joy but it's not fixed the problem with the engine but we're one step closer at least and it's eliminated one thing from the list so yeah I'm happy that's all for this video thanks for watching probably the most boring video that's ever come out in the world see you in the next one which will be the body kit will make this car look awesome bye now